Hi, everyone. Good to see everybody slowly, everybody slowly popping in. We'll go ahead and take a little bit of time to allow everybody to join, but I'd love for you guys to, um, as you guys are kind of coming in, go ahead and put where you guys are tuning in from. I'm tuning in from a shockingly sunny Portland, which is usually not, not our go-to uh, mode. So um, yeah, where are you guys, where are you guys chiming in from? Bay Area, we actually used to have an office in Berkeley. Good to see you. Boston, a few Georgia, you guys should connect. A snowy Detroit. <laughs> oh, I saw another Oregon pop in there too. Hello, Eugene. Some Utah, wow, people from all over the place. Rainy Philadelphia, sorry, I hope you like the rain. <laughs> New Jersey, another Eugene, hi Elena. Miami, oh, Limerick, hello. And someone from Ireland, great. You guys can uh, help answer some, some Ireland questions. I see a Dublin person in there, Massachusetts. Yeah, clearly a lot of people from all over the place. Anybody else from Portland? Any Portland people? Oh, hi, TCD. Awesome. So I think we'll give it another like 30 seconds or so, but it's good to see lots of people from all over the place. I saw somebody from India, lots of Oregon people, which I'm very new here. So I'm still kind of getting used to the rain. So I'm really enjoying the, the sunny day today. Um, but we'll go ahead and get started, I think. So, my name is Brittany. I'm actually a developer here at Go Overseas, but also kind of our resident Ireland enthusiast and one of the people that will be re reviewing all of your lovely applications. So I'm definitely the right person to have on this call and make sure that I'm giving you all of the best tips on what I'm looking for in the applications. So really excited. This is our how to win a $15,000 scholarship to study abroad in Ireland. Um, so before we hop into things, a couple just like housekeeping things. We also have some of the universities and institutions that are participating in this scholarship here on the call. Um, so you can actually chat directly with them. I'll go ahead and have all of the universities introduce themselves in the chat, um, let people know what institution uh, you're representing and then also your name. You can also change that on your uh, Zoom name as well. Um, my colleague Jessica is also going through all of the questions that you have. So there are two ways to ask questions. There's a um, Q&A button at the bottom of your screen. So if you have any direct questions that you wanna ask us privately, we can go ahead and answer those there. You can also throw things in the chat. There are a few people I see from Ireland that are in there. So um, you can go ahead and ask questions in there and have uh, some conversation that way. Um, and we'll also be doing some polls. So those will kind of pop up on screen as we ask those. Um, but if you have questions, Jessica is there to answer them. If there's anything that I need to answer on screen, I will also go ahead and pull those in. I see some of the, the people from University College Dublin, Trinity College Dublin. So yeah, if you guys have any questions for them specifically, feel free to ping them directly. Um, so today we'll be going through who we are, who Go Overseas is, what the prizes are, where you can study in Ireland, some of the frequently asked questions, and then of course, how to win it. So go ahead and grab a notebook or be prepped to take notes and learn how to win $15,000 to study in Ireland. Um, so we'll go ahead and just start with what is Go Overseas? So. Go Overseas is a community-centered website for meaningful travel experiences. So we kind of like to say it's like the Yelp for all programs abroad. So it's where you can read verified reviews, you can browse programs, read travel articles, and then of course, find scholarship information. 
Um, so we have over 50,000 reviews so that you can really go through and make sure that you are choosing the program that makes the most sense for you. So when you're studying abroad in Ireland, you can pick which school makes the most sense based on all of the different programs that they have or where exactly they're located. Do you wanna be in Limerick? Do you wanna be wandering the streets in Galway? Do you wanna be in downtown Dublin? And you can kind of make all of those decisions based on each of their uh, profiles on Go Overseas. So right now, uh, Go Overseas is partnering with the Irish government through education in Ireland to send two lucky US residents to study in Ireland. So this is an, an incredibly unique scholarship where we're actually partnering with the government to make sure that we're doing this in a really safe and flexible, financially supported way. So absolutely an incredible opportunity that we're working with the Irish government to make sure that this is completely possible and feasible for you. Um, so really kind of our motto here at Go Overseas with everything that's been going on this year is the best thing that you can do at the end of 2020 is set yourself up for success in 2021. So making sure that you're applying to the scholarship and setting yourself up to study abroad in Ireland and have a really meaningful, impactful experience in 2021. Um, so it's really refreshing for us here at Go Overseas to work with the government that is making sure that we're doing this in a way that's going to be best for the community. So that is our uh, little overview for Go Overseas. And then we'll, we'll kind of hop straight into the prizes, which is obviously a really exciting piece of this. So there are two scholarships. So we have one for undergrad study abroad and then one for postgrad, your entire master's degree. So you have to be a US resident to be eligible for the scholarship and you can check out the terms and conditions and the frequently asked questions pages for those details. And just as an FYI, while I'm here, uh, the URL for it, it's also in the Eventbrite information, but it's goverseas.com slash scholarships slash Ireland. We'll go ahead and have Jessica throw that in the chat for you as well. Um, so two scholarships, we'll go through the undergrad study abroad one first. So this is up to $15,000 in tuition for one study abroad semester at one of the seven participating institutions. I'll go ahead and go through what institutions are available next. Um, but yeah, up to $15,000 in tuition plus a $7,000 living stipend. So as if the scholarship for the tuition wasn't enough, they've really sweetened the deal and added in a living stipend to make sure that this is really an all encompassing, all inclusive scholarship. So you don't need to worry about anything there. And then on top of that, again, as if that wasn't enough, they're also covering flights up to $800 to get to Ireland to make sure that you can focus on having the best education and the best experiences, meaningful cultural perspective changing experiences in Ireland. Um, as far as the postgrad, the master's degree scholarship, this is your entire master's degree tuition at one of the eight participating uh, institutions. There's one more institution there, which is a business school. I think I saw Patrick in the uh, chat and he's from Smurfit Business School. So that is the additional one for the master's degree, as well as a $14,000 living stipend for that uh, entire master's degree, and then another $800 towards flights. So again, this is an incredibly unique and really like once in a lifetime scholarship that you can be applying for. Oftentimes uh, scholarships for studying abroad is one specific institution, but because we're working with the Irish government, there is more of an opportunity for you to decide where exactly you wanna go in Ireland. And we're partnering with all of the most prestigious institutions, which I will go over next, um, to make sure that you have the most incredible experience, both scholastically and as far as your experience, just living in Ireland and experiencing that culture. Um, so I'm actually going to throw a quick poll up there and ask you how many of you guys have already applied for the scholarship and all that should have just popped up. So I'll go ahead and 
wait for those to kind of trickle in here. It's exciting. It looks like most people have already submitted or it's in progress, which is great. So you guys can go ahead and get started on that. I'll uh, end the poll in just a second here. Um, and I'll also walk you through obviously how to apply and how to get back to your application. If some of you that said it's already submitted, if you wanna go back and make some changes to it now that once I give you all of my tips and tricks on how to win and what I'm looking for as I review, uh, I'll actually show you how to go back and still edit that. So go ahead and end the poll here and you guys can kind of see um, those results. So looks like a lot of people are in progress. So make sure to get that in before December 6th. That is the deadline. So you have just under a week here. It's a pretty simple process. And I'll go ahead and walk you through that next. I'll stop sharing there. So the schools that you can go to, actually, while I'm going through this, I'm going to have my colleagues um, all of my my colleague Jessica go through and add some random fun facts about some of these uh, institutions that I think are kind of interesting. I'll highlight a couple of my favorites as well. Um, so the eight institutions that you can go through are Dublin City University, Maynooth University, National University of Ireland Galway, Trinity College Dublin, Smurfit Business School, that's one of the master's only ones, University College Cork, University College Dublin, and University of Limerick. So there's really a spread throughout all of Ireland, whether you want to be in Dublin or whether you want to be in the West and be in Galway or Southwest Limerick or in the South and be in Cork. There's a lot of different places that you can be to make sure that you are getting the experience that you're really looking for. So again, this is super unique. Most of the time with scholarships, you're applying for a direct university, but with this one, you have the opportunity to choose between any any of these eight. Um, so uh, Jessica will go ahead and add some random uh, fun facts in there, but some of my favorite ones are uh, Trinity College Dublin. Some of their notable alumni include Oscar Wilde, um, Jack Gleason, Hosier, Niall Horan. So if you're a One Direction person, <laughs> good to go there. Um, another random fun fact about uh, Trinity College Dublin is that the full name of the institution is the College of the Holy and Undivided Trinity of Queen Elizabeth near Dublin. So when it was first built in 1592, uh, the college was actually half a mile outside of Dublin, hence near Dublin, but Dublin actually grew in the direction of Trinity, which is now at the center of the city. So just think it's kind of funny. And um, we also have for National University of Ireland, uh, Galway. It's actually located in Galway City, which was actually recently voted Europe's friendliest city. So you can go ahead and kind of look at all of the fun facts that Jessica is throwing in there. Um, so again, there are eight institutions that you can apply to. You can read about all of these on the goverseas.com slash scholarship slash Ireland page and decide which one makes the most sense for you as far as your postgrad degree or your undergrad study abroad. Um, and now I think we will go ahead, actually I'll go ahead and throw another poll up there and see uh, which university you guys are most excited about which one of these is your top choice at this point so I went ahead and just launched that and I'll go ahead and give you a little bit of time there awesome some of you guys were really inspired by the hosier I can see awesome I have uh traveled pretty extensively in Ireland. I did a nice uh, road trip around everywhere. And I can tell you that you will not be going wrong at any of these. I've been to every single one of these uh, cities and they're all incredible, lots to do everywhere. Um, whether you like the bustling city life or the cliff sides, nice hikes, you can do that anywhere. Awesome, so I'll go ahead and end the poll here. Cool. Um, and so now 
I'm sure what you guys are most interested in is how to win. So I've kind of pulled together a lot of my, the tips and tricks that I'm most interested in when I'm reading all of your guys' applications and I read every single one of them. Um, so you're really appealing to the audience here. So the first tip is really just to make sure that you're following the prompt that's given for the essay. So it starts with one year from now, I, and it's really supposed to be a letter to yourself um, a year from now, where do you expect to be? So if you are looking for inspiration, I think it's good to think about what's important to you right now, what lessons you wanna learn while you're overseas. Obviously this is a major time for growth when you're traveling abroad. I studied abroad and it was one of the most meaningful and perspective changing and life altering things that I ever did and completely changed my trajectory. I never thought that I would be working in travel. And after I studied abroad, I entered the travel industry and helped other people study abroad and then have worked here for worked here at Go Overseas for a while, trying to make sure that everybody has these perspective changing travel experiences that they want to have overseas. Um, and this is really an incredible way to do that, to have it be an all expenses paid kind of trip. So think about what makes you happy now what questions do you have for your future self and things you want to cross off your bucket list in ireland and things that you never want to forget so just be really creative here we want to see your personality be really unique and authentic to yourself um i'll kind of talk a little bit about some of our past applicants um, for other campaigns that we've run other scholarships and let you know what they did but really the big thing for this point is make sure that you follow the prompt and start with one year from now I, and then go off on your, uh, the rest of your letter. So that's tip number one. Tip number two is make sure that it's the right length. So we say up to, uh, we say 300 word uh, minimum. So it's really like, I would say around two to three paragraphs is really the right length here. Um, we have some people that'll write a couple sentences and we really want you to give some effort to this. Make sure that we know that you are excited and you are the right person to send to Ireland for free. So make sure that you take your time here and write a couple of paragraphs, not too long, but not too short either. Um, the next tip is formatting. So formatting really matters here. It just makes it a lot more digestible for us to read. So I would say do it in like Google Docs or Microsoft Word and make sure that there's like spacing in between the paragraphs and that it looks the way that you'd want it to be written as if it were a letter. So make sure to add that extra spacing. It's just a little bit more intimidating, a little bit more uh, difficult to read if it's just one big blurb of text. So make sure that you're formatting and then get personal and get creative. So what do you want to experience in Ireland? And make sure that it's it's the cultural pieces and exploring Ireland, but also scholastically. This is an incredible experience to get out of the US system, the US education system and experience what it's like in Ireland, how schooling works there, how they teach, how you learn, what exams are like, what assignments are like, and make sure that you're taking in as much as possible scholastically as well. So focus on the cultural experiences you want to have, but also what you hope to get out of things scholastically. Um, and then what sets you apart. So this isn't really like a sales pitch for you wanting to go. Obviously, everybody wants to win the scholarship. Um, but what what sets you apart? What are some interesting things about you? How can you set yourself apart from all of the rest of the applicants here? So I want to give an example from other scholarships that we've run. And uh, we had a winner, her name is Haley. Um, and she, in her essay, she spoke about how her Pueblo taught her about the creation story of how all of the indigenous people separated into different like factions and went each direction. So one went north, one went east, one went south, one went west to find their own sacred homelands. And New Zealand was where they traveled furthest. And she always wanted to go to see if she could recognize that same like energy and the same spirit that she had always been taught in her Pueblo. And it really set her application apart, showing how she connected herself to where she then wanted to study abroad. And it made it impossible for us not to choose her because it's just such a unique experience. 
Um, so make sure to focus not just on, it's not just about all of the cliff sides and the beautiful place that you can go, but what you're going to get out of it as far as the education. So everyone kind of comes at it from a different angle. So set some time apart to give yourself creative time to work through what exactly you're looking for in Ireland and how you fit into Ireland. The next piece is the photo entry. So the photo entry is a vision board for how you're going to kind of actualize these goals. So a lot of this scholarship is trying to get you focused on the future. So as I said earlier, what can you do at the end of 2020 to set you up for success in 2021? So we wanted this to make you think about where do you want to be a year from now? And then what are the steps that you can take now to get there? And a great way to visualize your goals is a vision board. So my biggest recommendation is to make a tangible vision board, get magazines, print things out, put it on your wall so you can see it every day and know that this is what you want to do. You want to go and study in Galway or Limerick or Cork or Dublin and make it really like top of mind for you by having a tangible vision board ready. Get creative, however you want to do that. Um, we've seen some incredibly creative uh, entries come through, but do whatever makes the most sense for you and really epitomizes who you are and why you want to go to Ireland. Um, some winners in the past have created whatever imagery they're going to use and then taken a picture of them holding it, which I think is a really unique way to tie your application to you as a person and makes it easy for us to kind of visualize that. If you can't do a tangible vision board though, um, you can also use like online op applications to do that. I highly recommend Canva and trying to create something through there, but be really creative. Don't just throw something together, give it some time um, and make sure that it's unique and authentic, which I know is kind of, I keep saying that, but that's really important to us that we're sending somebody because they're really excited by it and their application really represents who they are. Um, so yeah, make sure it's also Ireland themed. We want there to be uh, pieces of you throughout and all of your goals, but make sure that you have Ireland be really a central piece of that um, and any other goals that you have as a person as well. And then the last tip there is to post on your social media and tag us. Whenever we get people tagging us and Jessica will always send them to me all excited. And I immediately go looking for that application because I'm, I'm excited when I see uh, people's vision boards. So kind of gives you a little bit of a leg up there to have me see it before I look at all of the other applications. It's just kind of a, a mental note for me. Um, so those are all of my big tips as far as the actual application. And now we'll go ahead and hop into how to apply. So it's really three very easy steps here. So first is just general details, pretty easy, very standard. And then you're going to select the school that you're most interested in, as well as the semester that you want to go and then complete the essay and the photo entry and then you're done. So again, you have until 11.59 Pacific Standard Time on Sunday, December 6th. That's this Sunday. So make sure to get started soon. And um, we'll also be posting lots of reminders on our social media. So I would recommend following us there so that you're getting constant reminders to complete your application. Uh, that's December 6th again. Just wanna make sure I really nail that home. Um, and then, to get back to your application. So if you've already started and you want to go back and revise, you'll also be getting emails to get back to your application. You can also log in and in the upper right hand corner, there's a little drop down and it says applications. You can click on that and that will bring you back to your Ireland application so that you can um, go back and revise based on any of these tips that you have. Um, so again, as a reminder, you have to be a US resident and over 18 to apply. With the master's degree, you don't need to be enrolled anywhere. Um, with your study abroad, you need to be enrolled in a US uh, institution. And then after you're done applying, go ahead on to the schools next and apply there as well. So with the last couple of minutes, make sure to ask any of your uh, questions in the chat as well to 
the institutions or Jessica. But some of the questions that we've been getting most frequently, obviously top of mind is COVID-19. What happens if you can't go during the semester that you selected? Um, we want to make sure, I'm also gonna kind of pull in some of your questions. I may skip around here a little bit. Um, so I'll start with COVID. So if you cannot go during your selected semester, we will be flexible with you. We want to make sure that your safety is our top priority and the top priority of education in Ireland as well as the institutions. So we are constantly having these conversations to make sure that we're doing this in a safe, proactive and flexible way. So if you win, you are going to Ireland and we will make that the safest time and the safest way for you to go. And because you're working with the government, all of these updates are going to be coming in live specifically to you. Um, you have three different bodies here that are looking out for your well-being, Education in Ireland, so the government, the institution that you go to, as well as go overseas. We're going to make sure that you are the top priority. I'm gonna go over and read out some of the other questions. Um, so do I need to apply to the schools by December 6 or is that date a little bit more flexible that dates a little bit more flexible some. Um, it kind of depends when their dates open up so there's like a little bit of a difference there and all of these schools will be getting back to you and emailing you as you apply as well um, and sending you the links to apply to so. You have to apply to the scholarship by December 6 the second date we're going to be working with the institutions and make sure that you will be that you are somebody that uh, can be accepted, but you should be trying to apply to the schools as soon as possible as well. Um, so the again, the next question, very similar to that, when do we have to apply to the universities themselves? What is the timeline for that? You should be applying to those. You should be starting that application now as well. Some of the institutions, depending on what semester you're looking at going, they open up at different times. So, you know, fall 2021 is going to be open at a different time than summer. So it's kind of dependent on what semesters you're checking and what universities. So again, all of those universities will be reaching out to you as well. And once you finish your application on the confirmation page, it has all of the different steps to apply to the schools that you chose. So it will walk you through that on the confirmation page as well. Um, some of the other questions. Um, for the master's degree tuition. So this covers your entire master's degree. So that's a full-time program. So if you've already been accepted to university, it's not that you're more or less likely to be accepted if you've already been accepted by the university. Obviously you'll need to also be accepted by the university. It's something that we ask because it's just a good gauge for us, but you do not already need to be um, accepted by the time that you're applying for the scholarship. Um, okay, I don't see any other big ones, but I'll kind of keep keep an eye on that chat. Um, so some other frequently asked questions, uh, does the scholarship have to be applied to a specific term? You should plan on traveling in 2021, but the scholarship can be applied to a study beginning in spring, summer, or fall semesters based on your preference. And um, so eligibility, I think I've hit this a couple times, but US residents and over 18. So study abroad applicants must be enrolled in a four year institution and postgrad applicants have to hold an undergrad degree, but they don't need to have, um, they don't need to be enrolled anywhere. So your GPA and year of study will be taken into consideration because obviously you need to be accepted, but there's no minimum requirement. Um, so you do need to apply to the universities as well. Um, again, all of this information is on the scholarship slash Ireland page, which is in the chat. Um, so from there, you can kind of click through to each of the programs and learn more about each of them. And then how do you find out if you've won? So um, to find out if you've won, we obviously will reach out to the winners, but also we will be announcing them on all of our social media. We're at Go Overseas Everywhere, and we'll be, you can kind of follow along with our surprise, um, however we end up doing that. So 
definitely keep an eye there and we're going to be announcing the winners by December 15th. It's also a good time to note that we, um, there are also over 15 other scholarships that are involved in this. So they're the two main grand prizes, but some of the other institutions have decided to kind of sweeten the deal a little bit and add additional scholarships for people that aren't, that didn't win the grand prize. So there's even more to be won besides ju just the 15,000 um, scholarship to study abroad and the full master's degree, plus the stipends, plus the flights. There are other scholarships there as well. Um, I'm just going to answer a couple of these other questions I'm seeing pop up. Um, the letter to yourself, is that a 300 word maximum or minimum? So that's a minimum. Um, I think that ends up being around a paragraph. I really like the ones that are around two to three personally. Um, so I see one for the creative photo submission. Are there any examples from previous scholarship contests that we could look at? Um, does the hashtag need to be included in the photo? Yes. So um, hashtag I dream of Ireland is the hashtag that you can use there. So there are some other creative photo submissions. You can actually go to our Facebook. We have an entire album of past Ireland photos. They're a little bit different as far as the prompt. We've never used a vision board prompt before. So kind of keep that in mind. I do recommend Googling like vision boards though. Google is an incredible tool. So make sure to, you know, do some research on really cool vision boards and get inspired by other people's as well. So. Um, I also thank you, Maggie, for kind of chiming in there as well for UCC, any of the other universities, if you want to add in your deadlines or anything like that, feel free to do so. I don't see, I want to make sure that I answer any questions. Let me just make sure I'm scrolling through all of these. Um, okay, this looks good. Oh, um, Looks like there's a couple more Q and A's coming through. Um, so yeah, make sure to check out all of the additional scholarships. Again, it's gooverseas.com slash scholarships slash Ireland, which is in the chat. Um, are you likelier to receive the scholarship if you've already been accepted to university there? It's not necessary. It's not more or less likely at all. We won't fully take that into um, consideration. You will need to be accepted eventually, but on the application, I think is what this person's referencing. There's a field that says, um, have you already been accepted to an institution? Um, you will need to be accepted, but we're not going to say no to people that haven't said yes directly in that field. Um, for the prompt, can you confirm if it should be written in present tense or future tense? It's totally up to you. We've had some come in in both ways. I like them either way. I think it's, again, it's one of the ways that you can just be creative and try and figure out how you would write a letter to your future self. Do you want to write it? I would just say you can take a lot of liberties there for how you want it written. Um, another thing is just make sure that you like continuously revise, like go through, write a draft, come back to it a couple hours later, go and look at some Ireland photos and get even more inspired. Uh, go through and look at all of the different universities' profiles on Go Overseas and get inspired by the reviews that other people have written. See what they learned, you know? That's a really great place to start as well. Figure out what institution you're most excited about and go through and read their reviews. And what questions would you ask them? Put that in your essay. That's a good one as well. Um, if we've already earned one master's and are looking at another, will that count against us? It will not count against you at all. Um, that's awesome that you're thinking about getting another master's degree. Congrats, Caleb. Um, as far as people looking for specific uh, subjects, you can go through again and look at the profiles on Go Overseas and see what different degrees are available for you. Um, there's a question for University College Cork in there, which I'll let them answer. So another great thing that you can do here, if you have additional uh, questions for these people, go ahead and if you submit your application and then once you select, they can see um, your email come through and they will reach out to you directly. So if you have those questions, this is a great time to start getting in conversation with, with them and learn about this scholarship and all of the opportunities at that institution, but also learning about other scholarship opportunities. So 
definitely recommend getting your application started sooner and start getting those conversations flowing with, with each of these universities. Um, okay, so I'll go ahead and wrap up in classic uh, Brittany fashion. I'm a couple of minutes over, so I apologize, but thank you everyone for sticking with me. So it's great walking you through how to win this super unique uh, scholarship to study abroad in Ireland. So whether you're here for undergrad or postgrad, I can't wait to read your application. Again, make sure to get it in before December 6th. And then follow us on social media, again, at Go Overseas Everywhere to see when we announce the winner and get continuous reminders to finish your application. So thank you so much for joining everybody. I'm gonna go ahead and end this, but if you also have any additional uh, questions, feel free to email us at community at gooverseas.com. I'll go ahead and just throw that in, um, in the chat. So that's community at gooverseas.com. You can go ahead and send any additional emails there. Um, and thank you. Thank you again so much for, for tuning in. And I look forward to reading all of your applications. Have a great rest of your day. Bye everyone. Bye Emma. Bye Kyle. <laughs> Bye.